Joel, welcome to Twickenham. Oh my God, thank you so much for having me. Oh, you're more than welcome. Um, have you been before? I've been before. The last time, in fact, that I came to Twickenham, I think it was the Six Nations and it was uh, England versus Scotland. And it was the best, not, oh. not even the best match of rugby. It was the best sporting event I've ever been to in my life. Was it the 38 all yes. draw where yes. Scotland were gone? Yeah. And in the second half, they came all the way back and then they were like one ahead or something. It was like a Rocky movie. It was one of the best things I've ever experienced in my life. I lost myself. I was like, we're winning. And then I came back and then I was like, ah! I was unbelievable. I see you helped yourself to a Guinness, as have I. Just because I, I saw you had one. And I was like, you're a really cool guy. I'll be honest, I'm just trying to fit in. I'm trying to fit in with you. And so I ordered that as well. And you're up here, up in the stands, dining with Keith Browse. What do you make of it? This is, I feel like I'm in Downton Abbey. This is unbelievable. I feel like this is, there's a guy, this, that piano's real. Yeah, 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 I know. Like you might be thinking, oh, that's some music that they've laid over the top of this filming. Absolutely, that's a real guy yeah. on a real piano. Beautiful. I feel like we're on a date. How do you think it's going? Well, we'll see when I uh, whether I call you back. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me. Have you? Did you ever play rugby? I sort of tried to play rugby. I come from. Um, so did I. Come on, yeah, I tr I tried. I just um, I was like the little fast kid. I'd run through the legs of everyone. Do you know what I mean? And uh, and then um, I don't, I've never been very good at it. And so I sort of knocked it on the head quite early, but I just didn't, I've enjoyed watching it. My, like, it, my family are really into rugby. Okay, because you brought them here today? Yes, I brought my, my dad and my brother along. And they're super excited. And, um, and so it's, uh, it's just such a wonderful thing to watch. I just really love it. I think it's such a good game. Better football. Look at this. I, um, I think I love you. There, yes. It's what I wanted. Yes. We're there. Wanted. I'm not even half a pint through. <laughs> so you know it's a sober thought. Talk to me, because there's so many similarities when we talk about high performance. You're a high performing presenter. These guys are high performing athletes. But in terms of preparation, is there anything that you do? Any, I don't know, do you have any superstitions? How do you prep yourself before you go on live telly? It's funny, actually. I think I'm actually probably different to a lot of presenters, but I, I prepare, I try to sort of prepare it sounds mad, but I do prepare in the same way that, that, that say, an athlete would, right? Is I, nerves affect everybody, mm. and I think it's uh, in a positive way sometimes, but also I think in a negative way, so I just try and get rid of as much of the nerves as I possibly can. Like when I'm doing like the National Television Awards, say, that's at like the O2, from like 15,000 people, five million people watching at home, whatever. Yeah. And I just try and bring it down to the basics of what it is, it's just reading. I've just got to read the IQ. That's all I've got to do. Read the IQ, be yourself, have fun with it, and then, um, then you, you have the best performance. I'm sure it's the same on the pitch. If you suddenly take into account that you're playing for England, and if I don't catch it, then I'm going <laughs> to lose it, and everyone's going to hate me, and this, then it becomes a bigger job than it is. Yeah. And I think I always really concentrate on bringing my heart rate down, and I have like a... Um, a heart rate monitor watch thing okay and so i literally like will look at my heart rate and try and get it down to a certain point and then i'm like okay that's cool. if it's let's at 1 30 and you've got to walk <laughs> out because <laughs> i read too quick that's the problem if your heart rate's too quick you read too quick because it's, if it's at 1 30 you'll be like hello <laughs> appreciate that you called me a high performance presenter though that's exactly what you are joel I love it's been that. a pleasure chatting to you mm. Well, cheers to that. I'm really excited for this day. It's going to be wonderful. Yeah, enjoy it. Thank Have you fun. so much for having me. No, more than welcome.